When using your iPhone or your iPad, there are a ton of great accessibility features, such as their built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. And so today I thought we'd go back to basics and learn a little bit about navigating your iPhone or iPad using VoiceOver. <laughs> What's up VIPs, Derek here back with another video and years ago when I first started using an iPhone with their built-in screen reader, it was revolutionary. It was amazing. I had access to a touch screen. I remember when touch screens started becoming a huge thing, it was like, how am I going to use a touch screen? I, ca I can't see it. But Apple did a wonderful job implementing voiceover into their operating system. Now, other screen readers had been around for a while, of course, for many, many years, but with Apple, it was built into the operating system itself. It worked with the things that they already had. Others were third-party things you had to add to your device, to your computer, a piece of software, something like that. But VoiceOver, it's built right in, and it is great. Now, is it perfect? Well, no, of course not. It's got its little bugs, its hiccups, its things, but you know, it is built in and so that's what we're going to end up using. And so the best thing that we can do is learn how to use it to the best way that we can. And speaking of which, VoiceOver loves to talk all the time. And so right here you can see it's telling me the time is 10.35 a.m. right now. And so what I wanted to do today was just take you through a basic way to use VoiceOver. Now I have other videos on my channel uh, we do a VoiceOver 101 series. In fact, I do it with Sam from The Blind Live, so I will link his whole playlist down in the description box below. But for today, I thought, let's just go back to basics and learn about navigating our phone with VoiceOver. So if you're new to this or if you need a little refresher, this one is just for you. So let's go ahead, hop into the iPhone and navigate around using VoiceOver. All right, so here we are, and I'm going to use the Apple News app to give us a demonstration of some voiceover basics. Hey everybody, this is Derek in the editing process, cutting in to let you know that the footage of the voiceover demonstration is being affected by the natural light outside. So if you have usable vision and you notice that the screen is going in and out at times and becoming really dark, don't worry, it's not you, it's just the natural light. Okay, on with the demonstration. Now I'm actually in an area that I follow called blindness. You can just do a search and then follow that topic. And so hopefully this will give us a good idea of some of the basic gestures that you need to navigate your phone, get around and find the information that you're looking for. So first of all, the most basic way of getting around is just to use your finger and you know scroll around. So I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna touch the screen, not tap, touch the screen and move my finger around and see what happens. South China Morning Post. Inclusive Cantonese opera shows at West Kowloon for blindness. Back button, blindness. Okay. Vertical scroll bar. So listen. South China Morning Post. Ink blindness. Okay, so everywhere my finger touches, if there's something under it to read, it'll read it out loud. And you also probably heard like a, a several beeps and that's telling me there's nothing there for voiceover to read. Now, let me be clear, it doesn't mean there's nothing there, it just means there's nothing there for voiceover to read. So that can be a pain in the butt, especially on graphics and things like that. Now let's say I, I wanna you know, read things that are down below what's on the screen, how do I get there? Well, that's where our other basic navigation is to swipe right and left. Right takes you to the next item that VoiceOver can read. Left takes you back to the previous item that VoiceOver can read. So let's go back for a second. I'm gonna swipe left with one finger. Back button. Now you can do this with your finger, with your thumb. Sometimes we hold our um, phones, you know, in our hands and we've got our thumbs. So you can do your thumb as well. So if I swipe right, Blindness. it goes to the next one. If I swipe left, back it goes back. So I'm using my thumb. Now listen to this. Back button. That tells me there's nowhere else to go backwards. I only can go forwards or to the right at this point. So let's go to the right. Blindness. Swiping right. More actions. Button. South China Morning Post. Inclusive Cantonese opera shows at West Kowloon provide access services for Hong Kong's disabled community. Two days ago. Suiting. Actions available. A group of people performing on a stage in front of an audience. Now, there was a bunch of information that was read off right there. And you might be like, especially if you're new to voiceover, you're like, what just happened? So basically, I swiped right until I got to a news article because I'm in the news app. 
and the voiceover read all the information it had right here. It had the title of the article, it had probably the person who wrote the article, where it's from, what publication, it said um, actions available, and then it gave me a brief description, or the best it could, of the, um, the image that's right there uh, that accompanies the article. So now, if I want to read that article, let's say, oh, I really want to read that, all I have to do is double tap into the article. And let's do that, double tap. Back button. Now I double tapped with my thumb, and it got me into the article, and then voiceover said back, and you hear it say button, which is a indication that this is a button. So what that tells me is, if I'm going back, now let's swipe left again. Back button. Yeah, back button. I can't go any further, so I'm at the top left of my screen. If I cannot go back any further, I'm at the top left of the screen. This does not include the status bar, which you can find if you use your um, finger and you go all the way to the top. 87% battery power, not charging, then status bar item. That's the status bar, and now you can swipe left and right in the status bar. Daniel Film, two of cellular, two of four bars, 10, 10 a.m. So I can swipe left and right in the status bar and it keeps me up there. But then if I want to go back to the thing, then I'll just use my finger. Image, to South China Morning Post, 10, 10 a.m. Stick bookmark, button, 10, 10 a.m. Back, button. Find that button. Now, again, if you're using this very frequently, you're probably going to figure out pretty quick where things are, so it's going to be a little faster. But now I'm back, and let's say I want to go, okay, I don't want to read this article. I'm going to double tap to get out of it. South China Morning Post. All right. So. West Kowloon provide access services for Hong Kong's disabled community. Two days ago, Suin. Now, this is reading a lot of information, right? And so it's like, oh my goodness, I don't know if I can take this. So let's say I'm, it's reading it and I don't want it to read anymore. I'm gonna use a two finger single tap to pause the reading. So let's do this. So I'm gonna single tap on the article again and then I'm going to uh, single tap with two fingers to pause it. South China Morning Post, inclusive Cantonese opera shows at West. Okay, so now I single tapped with two fingers and now, if I single tap with two fingers again, it's going to pick up where it left off. Kowloon provide access services for Hong Kong's disabled community. So this is a great thing if, let's say you're reading something, and then somebody comes along and wants to talk to you, you can pause it and then pick back up instead of having to start the entire paragraph over. Let's say, for example, I'm reading an article. Let me give you an example of that. Let's swipe down. Wife, news we love. South China Morning, wife, NBC6 South, wife. Be Let's do Our this one. Okay, so now I want to, I, I single tap with two fingers there to pause it. I want to double tap into this article. Wife, new, back, button. Okay, so now it says I'm back, I'm at the top left. Now to get to the article, the best thing you probably do is just swipe right. You might be able to drag around and find it, but let's just swipe right. Bookmark, wife, head, text size, more actions, title, news we love. By Janice Limon, February 14th, play, button. An upstate farm animal is teaching its owners that life is precious, love is fine, and disabilities can be overcome. Advertisement from any ad button. Just list this story under news we love. Deprints. A fair play. In okay. County. So you Sin see, a I single tap article. with two fingers. Okay, now I've paused the article reading. If I single tap with two fingers again, I if there, was a story behind the there it is. It'll pick it back up. Now, as you notice, as you swipe through things, it's going to read everything that it comes to. And that is super annoying sometimes. But that's the thing about voiceover. You don't want it to skip over items. You want to know what's on the screen. So whenever you're annoyed by that, just remember, well, I want to know what's on the screen. I want to have access to it. So even though it's a little bit annoying, I at least want to have access to all of those things. So we swipe left and right to navigate. Um, you know, we, we use our finger to find things. Uh, we uh, single tap with two fingers to pause. Now, another thing we can do is instead of swiping left and right, we could swipe up or down, all right? Um, now, let's say I wanna get back where I was. Another good way to do that is to scrub with two fingers. Scrub meaning make like a Z or an S, okay? So I'm gonna do two fingers on the screen and scrub uh, I'm gonna do left, right, left. Kind of like a weird S looking. Okay, so here we go. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Wife, and that takes me account. back to the screen I was on. All right, instead of using the back button. So, for example, now I wanna do instead of left and right, I wanna swipe up and down. So I'm on this article, and I'm gonna swipe down to see what happens. Wife, more actions. More actions. More actions. More actions. Suggest less. Now, this one is a bit weird. There's a bug in the news article. You heard it say more actions about four times. There shouldn't be four more actions, but for some reason there's a bug in there. Now, if I get to this, I can hear other options. Suggest more. Suggest more. Share. 
share, save story. save story. So there's other options for this article that somebody else may get to with a button, but now I can get to it by swiping up or down. This works like in a Twitter or an Instagram post. You can like, comment, share, send, things like that. So the next time you're on uh, something, especially if it says actions available, make sure you swipe up or down to get other actions. Now, these are some of the basic ways that you can navigate the phone. There are lots of other um, gestures that you can use, and so the best thing that you can do is go into settings, go to accessibility, and then voiceover, and voiceover practice, and it'll teach you a lot of those other gestures. But this is the basic way that you navigate. So the next time that you pick up your phone and you're wanting to use voiceover, just remember, swiping left and right, up and down, uh, two finger single tap will pause, and it's a simple way to get around. Like I said, I've got other videos on the channel with other gestures, but this is a good way. And to uh, finish it out, let me just show you, uh, if you have an iPhone with no home button, which most everybody does now, you're gonna start at the bottom, you're gonna touch, and you're gonna swipe up until you hear beeps or taps. You hear that? Lift for home. It says lift for home. If I keep swiping up. Lift for app switcher. Lift for app switcher. This is where you could close out your apps. So I'm gonna go back down. Lift for home. Lift for home. And it takes me home or back to the folder I was in. So that's the basic way you navigate the phone. Hopefully it all makes sense. And while voiceover isn't perfect, it is certainly a wonderful, wonderful way to navigate your iPhone. All right, so there you go, folks. That is a quick little rundown of navigating your phone using voiceover. Now, like I said, it's not perfect. There are some bugs, and of course, there's lots of other things and gestures you can do with voiceover, but that's just some basics. If you wanna know more, check out the description box below for my playlist and for Sam's from The Blind Life. We do a voiceover 101 series right there and just some simple ways to navigate your phone using voiceover. It can be a bit tricky to get used to at first, but once you do, you'll be flying around your phone and having access to all the wonderful things that a smartphone can provide. So my question for you today is this, what's your experience using a screen reader? Do you use voiceover? Do you use TalkBack on an Android? JAWS, something like that? I'd love to hear about it and I know others would as well, so let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you liked this video, if you found it helpful, well, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it out with somebody that you know. And if you're new around here, my name is Derek and I help people just like you to discover life after sight loss. Here on the channel, we do life advice, product reviews, and tech tips just like this one. So consider subscribing and turning on those notifications so you don't miss another single video. And remember that sight loss isn't the end, it's just the beginning. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Derek and I'll see you in the next one.